Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Anjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of Advanced Microsoft 365 Codes. Guys, in this particular playlist, I have already uploaded multiple videos, up to 25 plus videos I have already added in this playlist. And now I am moving ourselves to another topic, which is really important for every Office 365 engineer. I am talking about SharePoint management. As per the name suggests, the meaning of SharePoint, we can use it to provide a centralized access of our Office 365 services. Not only the Office 365 services, we can also manage our Office application like as a Word, Excel, PowerPoint. You can put in a single location and, uh, and, and, and from single location, multiple users can access at the same time. So in this class, I'm going to guide you about the use cases of SharePoint, different types of dashboard which are available on our Office 365 portal. Like I'm talking about the SharePoint developer page and SharePoint administrator. Because as a Office 365 engineer, it's our responsibility. We are responsible to take care of both types of platform. Like we are responsible to manage the designer page. We are responsible to take care of the administrator related activity as well. So let's move ourselves to the screen and uh, we'll guide you each and every step how you can uh, uh, set up your uh, SharePoint services for your organization or client. Let me move ourselves to the screen. But before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, do subscribe because the Teach Me Clouds is a single technical training based YouTube channel that gives you 100% live practical based videos, videos without skip any step. So I'm moving ourselves to whiteboard and also guide you uh, how we can set up our designer page for SharePoint. And we'll also discuss about the options and features which are available on uh, SharePoint administrator. So now let's try to understand about the usage. So for example, this is your organization, right? The organization name is ABC or XYZ. This is your organization name. And you know that in organization, multiple departments are appeared, right? Multiple departments are available in single organization, like as a local IT, right? Who responsible to take care of IT related issues, HR department, you know very well about sales department. So with the help of SharePoint, we can design the kind of uh, website. Yes, it's a kind of website. Uh, we can also create the group for according to the according to the um, uh, groups requirement according to the department's requirement for example in sales uh, department there are five different engineers are responsible to five different employees are available in sales department like uh, employee one employee two employee three so these all are the employees which are responsible to manage the activity related to sales. And SharePoint can help us to create a centralized uh, uh, kind of place. It's a centralized place. Yes. And by using this centralized place, we can uh, set up our Excel sheet, Word file, PowerPoint, we can also manage our OneDrive. Yes, we can also set up our OneDrive. Uh, you want to upload your personal data like recorded session or PPT, any kind of document that you want to upload. SharePoint can help us. And the same SharePoint access by all the employees which are responsible to work for the sales department. So by using the SharePoint uh, setup, we can reduce the time of our task. Like you want to perform a task. If multiple people or multiple employees are doing same work, so definitely it will reduce the time. It will reduce the duration of our completing the task. Our SharePoint is also categorized in two different parts. Let me help you. What we need to do, we need to open our Microsoft 365 portal. Our responsibility, we need to open Microsoft 365 portal. Over our Office 365 or Microsoft 365, we have a two different method to set up our uh, SharePoint management. One is SharePoint developer.
it's a type of SharePoint developer page and second is SharePoint admin page right SharePoint developer page and SharePoint admin page our responsibility we should know about the difference between these points are these uh, uh, you can say that uh, dashboard or platform very basic gap between each other as per the name suggests the meaning of SharePoint developer that help you to design a website and you can also add multiple employees according to the group that you want to create. The meaning of administrator that help us to manage our developer page or the portal. It will give us an option of security. It will provide us an option of to edit our existing group. Uh, you can also manage the, uh, the options. M multiple features are available in our admin center means SharePoint admin center. So I'm moving ourselves to the portal and give you the proper step. How can, how we can set up and how we can start our journey to manage the Microsoft uh, SharePoint management. Guys, this is our Office 365 portal. I used my root account to log in this particular panel. I'm just going to click on these dots and go to the SharePoint. Whenever we click on the SharePoint, it will redirect you on the page of developer. So the, the page that I'm trying to open, this is the type of Microsoft SharePoint developer page. Same account I'm going to use to uh, set up or create the SharePoint site. This is the look, this is the panel where we can create our own site, we can create our news post. Multiple options are available. We'll try to understand each and every features which are involved in this particular uh, dashboard or you can say that portal. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on create site. Whenever we click on the create site, it will redirect you on the page where we can decide two different methods we have to establish our uh, site. One is team site and another is communication side as per the name suggest if you want to set up your team for the specific uh, department you always proceed with team side you want to broadcast the message for the each and every employees of organization then you can set up a communication any kind of broadcast any kind of, uh, kind of message or any kind of uh, data you want to broadcast with each and every employees of organization you always proceed with the communication side clear so let me proceed with one. I'm going to click on the first one. Like as I wanted to create a site for the specific department. Multiple options are available from Microsoft and from your organization. So yes, we can also set up our site as per our requirement. Like you can customize your site. You can design with your own theme. So this is these all are the themes which is which are provided by Microsoft. As per your requirement, you can select any of the themes like for your site, basically. So I wanted to set up our site with uh, any, any theme. Let me proceed with this one. This is your template. You can say that this is the theme that you are trying to use for your uh, uh, site, SharePoint site. Next, you just need to proceed. Everything is okay. Our responsibility to create it. Use this template. Type the name of your site that you want to establish. So I'm going to set up our site with name of like demo. Okay, so I wanted to create this site as a name of demo site. It is available and uh, site description if you want to set up any kind of you want to describe anything about this site so just need to type here group email addresses so domestic this group is uh this group alias is available so as per your requirement you can proceed demo site at the rate something it will automatically pick according to the domain that you have okay site address is teach me cloud this is my a uh, kind of uh, account name so it automatically it will automatically pick the name from your existing uh, uh, the the existing domain which is provided by uh, microsoft so i don't want to make any changes click next again it will provide two different options private only members can access this particular site uh, you want to make it public means anyone can access this site from anywhere right so i wanted to use it for the public label so that's why i use this site with create uh, 
create this site by selecting the feature of public add members so meaning the meaning of members means for example <clears throat> in the organization you have already created multiple accounts so this particular panel can give you the information about number of users that you have already created so in this particular uh, account i have already created a multiple user like i'm going to add this one one user and uh, shaidas and adrian so three different members i successfully added in this particular account click finish means these users are applicable to access uh the data access the files folders that you are going to upload in this particular site it is in progress we have to wait for a few more minute because we successfully proceeded to create our site let me refresh the page it will give you the information about our demo site the site that we are creating with name of demo sites demo site is ready to use i'm just going to click on demo site it will redirect you on another page this is the panel of demo site and now you can design your demo site as per your requirement so click on plus icon it will give us access of multiple software multiple application which are available according to your license bit slow guys actually i'm using tablet so that's why i'm unable to find all the options but no worry about it i'll create a video directly with the help of laptop that we can uh, understand about each and every options which uh, provided by our site actually it will give us a list of uh, features of uh, site in the left panel that we are unable to find in tablet okay guys so do one thing yeah this is the panel this is the step that i used to create our site in next upcoming session i'll give you the complete information about how to manage our site because uh, i'm using tablet so unable to find all the options i'm going to use uh, our laptop so with the help of laptop we can manage all the part of sharepoint so thank you so much we'll connect in next session and discuss more about sharepoint management this is the part of advanced microsoft 365 course so i'll give you up to uh, 8 to 10 videos based on sharepoint that will help you to understand about how to manage sharepoint services over a microsoft 365 portal thank you guys do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel we'll connect soon in another session take care guys bye bye